Hey guys, Eric here. So there's some pretty weird secrets in God of War, huh? This is definitely not something I expect to find out about, but here we are. Some dudes on Reddit took a closer look at the cloth map from the Stone Mason edition of the game and noticed something kind of weird. Check out the Reddit thread if you're really interested in the details. I've got a link to it in the description, but basically if you translate the runes, you'll get a little story about Brock and Sindri. In the story, there are clues pointing to a specific location in the game world, which when you go there and perform a specific series of actions, unlock some treasure for you. This can be done at any point as long as you've reached the Lake of the Nine, and though it isn't a world-beating endgame item, it's pretty damn nice to get for not much effort. Alright, before I get into the nitty gritty, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you find these videos at all interesting. So the map is pointing to the location of a circle, which is on the Muspelheim Tower. Go there, stand at the center of the circle on the floor, and start by facing out the temple. To successfully perform this trick, you need to look at four different locations in a specific order, and you need to do it fairly quickly. So the locations are the temple, up, the left brazier, or the left, the right brazier, the right, and the floor, down. So while standing in the circle, you'll want to look in this order. Up, left. Up, right. Left, up. Down. Right left, up. You'll need to do this fairly quickly, so either memorize the order or just run this audio and repeat while you try it. Up, left. Up, right. Left, up. Down. Right. Left, up. If performed correctly, you'll hear a gong about halfway through and another gong when you're done. Then you'll see a realm tear appear in front of you, which you can then access to obtain the Forbidden Grip of the Ages. A pommel for the Leviathan Axe. It's legendary, boosts all stats, and adds a little wave beam after light R1 combos. It's a pretty cool little secret, all told. I'm going to show off the wave effect a little bit, but otherwise that covers it. I really recommend you check out the Reddit thread. It's a pretty cool to see how these guys figure this one out. Who knows what else this game might be hiding. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys.